looking at Quaking Aspen. And this tree is a member of the cottonwood family, but it's one of the, the smaller cottonwoods. Uh, the biggest ones generally get up to 50 or 60 feet in height. It's one of the most widespread trees in North America, so you can find it growing all the way from coast to coast. And it has a really unusual ability to regenerate for hundreds of years from suckers that it puts up from its root system. Groups of aspen that all share the same genetics are referred to as clones. And a clone can last for hundreds or sometimes even thousands of years, which is pretty cool. And you can observe the clone uh, most distinctly in spring and fall, because in the spring, groups of aspen will all leaf out simultaneously. And in the fall, you'll see them all burst into color at the same time, too, because it's a genetically determined thing. It grows near water courses, so even if the area looks dry, if there's aspen growing there, it's really likely that there's at least some water just a few feet below the surface. It has this beautiful creamy white bark with these black markings, and the branches stick out kind of straight from the, the trunk here, and they're kind of irregularly bent. The leaves are quite small, they're about an inch and a half to two and a half inches. And this is really useful to the tree because sometimes you get late season snowfalls in mountainous areas. And if the leaves were bigger, it would make the branches more inclined to break with the heavy snow on it. The leaves are quite round and they have a really abruptly pointed tip. They're green on top and kind of a silvery color underneath. And they have a flattened petiole and a petiole is the leaf stem. And this causes the, the leaves to really shimmer back and forth in the breeze, and it makes that beautiful sound that you sometimes hear with quaking aspen. The natives name for this plant uh, translated sometimes as noisy leaf, or I read one that called it woman's tongue. Aspen have really downy seeds like other cottonwoods, and you'll see them floating through the air, but they don't have much stored food with them, so they're really only viable for about a week or two. Uh, which means that aspen much more commonly regenerates from those suckers from the roots than from seed taking roots somewhere. Beavers really love to log aspen. They'll chop it into like these two foot chunks and store it under water near their den so that they can have winter food. Bark was used medicinally. It could be used for relief from pain or fever or infection and cold. And another great thing about this tree is it has really low flammability. So it makes a good fire break when it's planted near woodland homes. Uh, but people also have to be careful when using it for landscaping because the root system is so extensive. It will also poke holes in your septic system. Woodworkers like to work with aspen wood because it's lightweight, it's soft, it's a pretty creamy color. And when it wears, it doesn't splinter. So that makes it good for playgrounds. So, if you don't want a splinter in your butt, make your sauna bench out of aspen.